Okay, so that makes two o'clock Eastern, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I just wanna thank you guys all for joining in today. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Taryn Kelly, and I work with Noify's customer success team. Uh, we're always happy to see that people are interested in learning more about Noify and the different features we offer, so thank you all for taking the time to uh, join our webinar. And today what we're gonna be covering is scheduling. Uh, scheduling is a very important part of any contracting business to make sure that you get the most out of your field staff and to make sure that all of your jobs run as efficiently, as organized and professionally as possible. Uh, and I'm gonna start this uh, presentation by you know, giving you a little bit more information on the different scheduling tools that we offer in Noify. And then I'll be doing a demonstration on uh, the actual system itself so you can see how everything works. And hopefully through this, you learn how to choose which of our scheduling tools is going to be the best for your company to get the most out of our system. Uh, the first thing I'm going to discuss is what we call the corporate calendar. Uh, the corporate calendar in NoFi is really the highest level uh, view of your different jobs that are happening in your account at any point in time. It's a great place to change the dates of the jobs, uh, to add new jobs, uh, to push things forward, pull them back. Uh, this is really more uh, just for the sake of seeing when you're gonna be getting to each individual job, and this one is not gonna be relevant to scheduling out individual employees. Um, the next tool I'm gonna to be discussing is the job board. The job board also gives you the ability to uh, schedule out dates of the job, uh, but unlike the corporate calendar, this also gives you the ability to schedule who's working on the job on those days. So this is kind of like a hybrid of uh, the two uh, different parts of scheduling here. Uh, this is available in probably most of your accounts if you're a current Notify user. Um, starting from uh, 2019, this is gonna be a growth and enterprise feature only. Uh, and you actually, if you have access to the job board, can choose whether you're gonna use this tool or the resource board, which I'll be discussing next. Uh, but the job board is really best for contractors who are less interested in the individual hours uh, that are scheduled and more interested in the entire day. You know, who's working on each job each day and when are we gonna be getting around to each phase of the job? These are the things that the job board really helps you schedule out. Uh, it's a pretty quick, seamless way to schedule out jobs, uh, and it, uh, in my opinion, gives you the uh, smoothest flow to get everyone scheduled. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, we do also now have what we call the resource board, and this is actually the newest scheduling tool uh, added to Notify, and this will be on all Plus accounts. And again, if you are on a growth or enterprise account, you can switch to this if you prefer it over the job board. Uh, we don't have the ability to offer you both of them at a time, but if you are uh, interested in what is essentially downgrading your scheduling tool, uh, totally understandable, because a lot of people do prefer the resource board. If they're less interested in the dates of the jobs and more interested in what each employee is doing every day and filling out hours as opposed to a full day of scheduling. Uh, one thing I'll touch up, up on uh, briefly at the end of this is our resource day view. Uh, people ask about this pretty often. Uh, similar to the resource board, this is more hourly focused than daily focused. But the resource day view is a great way to look at an individual employee and see what's on their schedule. Uh, especially if you have your team in the field using the smartphone app, this is very important uh, because it'll show you what's gonna show on their app uh, any day that they check it based off of their schedule here. So I'm gonna jump into my Noify account and start showing you a little bit more about how all of this works, uh, starting with the corporate calendar. Now, again, you can see this is a high level view. I can see all of the different open jobs on my account at any point in time. But aside from just being able to view the jobs, I have the ability to adjust the dates that I'm going to be getting to each project. So. Here's 1598, uh, I can see that this specific bar is for the site prep and demolition. I get to see the client's info. And if I click this, I can actually remove things from the schedule or jump into that job's uh, details, you know, into the planned track section or anything else I need to see. 
And to adjust the dates of the job, you can see that hovering over the beginning or end pulls up these dots. That means that I can click here and change the end date. And I can change the start date. Or if we want to keep the same number of days that the job is scheduled for, but just change when it's starting, I can just click the bar and drag it and you'll see it moves both of them simultaneously. This way, if I know that I'm not going to be able to start this job 1592 until later in the week, I could just drag this and it's going to help me update the end date as well. So I know uh, not to expect this to end any sooner just because we uh, started it uh, later. Uh, and if you guys don't mind not uh, turning on your video during this, it just uh, messes with our recording a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off. Thank you. Um, Aside from being able to change the dates of the corporate calendar, you can also add new jobs to the calendar here. So I can see that starting on the 28th, things start to mellow out for my company. So if I wanted to click here, I can actually add a new job that starts on the 28th. I could say the rough in for this project is gonna start and it'll take us about seven days. And you see it automatically adds it into the calendar here. I also have the ability, I'm going to go ahead and actually drag this to today's date for later on when we're scheduling it. And you'll see that when I click on a date, aside from just adding from contract jobs, I can also add a new service job to the calendar here as well. It'll jump into the service jobs module, but this is handy if you schedule out individual service tickets uh, across the course of a month as opposed to one day at a time. So next I'm going to jump into my job board. And again, this is going to be one of the, you know, this is going to be probably the most common tool you'll find when you jump into your scheduling uh, module in Noify. And you're going to see that the initial view uh, is not unlike the corporate calendar in that it shows the dates of the phases uh, across the week or, you know, each individual day. And I'll be able to see beyond just when we're getting to that job, who's scheduled on it. That's what these colored dots will represent on the uh, left hand side of the screen. So here's that project 1601 that I scheduled earlier. Uh, I can see that I have the rough in here and no one's actually been scheduled on it yet. To add someone to this job, all I have to do is select their name. And then you see it gives us the option to full time or custom time. If I choose full time, it's going to schedule them for every date that I have this job or this phase uh, rather scheduled for. So uh, since the rough in was scheduled to end on the 29th, these employees are scheduled to go until the 29th. If I need to add additional phases here, I can click this plus sign, search for the job again. And if I know that the rough in is gonna end on the 29th, I'm gonna start the finishing also on the 29th. And I'll say that this will also take about seven days. Now you'll see that this actually adds this phase to the calendar as well. And it'll actually show me budgeted hours uh, too, based uh, versus you know how many have been tracked so far. So I have zero actual labor hours tracked, obviously, since I've only just now added it to the schedule. Uh, but that just gives me a little bit more uh, information about what's happening in the job from this view. Uh, if I want to remove specific days from an employee's schedule, I can actually hover over the specific day. So let's say Paul isn't actually going to get to this job tomorrow. I can click, and it'll open up this gap to show me that he's scheduled today, he'll be there on Friday, but on Thursday, he's not supposed to be on this job site. So that gives me a little bit more information as well. I also do have the ability to change the dates of jobs here. So I know I have these both, uh, you know, the rough in ending and the installation starting on Wednesday. Let's say I think we're gonna move a little bit faster and this will be done on Tuesday. I can actually click the end of this phase and stop it here. And that just updates uh, my scheduling a little bit. And you see that we get this notification uh, prompt here. If I click on this, it'll actually uh, prompt me and automatically fill out the information for uh, sending out a push notification. So that way, aside from us just updating the schedule, so if they check their smartphone app, these users will see what's been updated. This will send them a push notification and an email so they can get more information uh, without having to log in every day. Uh, another nice thing about this board is that you have the ability to grab uh, a group uh, at a time as opposed to one individual employee. So if you organize your teams uh, 
into your different departments or however you organize them in Noify, I can click crew B and assign them to a job like that. And this time, instead of full time, I'm gonna use the custom time option. Uh, this will automatically open up this window that gives me uh, any of the information it has uh, automatically filled out, like the job and phase and who's, uh, we have which resources we're scheduling here. And I can make adjustments to this as well. And this way I can get more specific than just uh, you know, every day of the job. And I could say, well, actually, even though the phase is set to go to the fifth, I just want to schedule them through to the first. And I want them to be out of there by 4 p.m. every day. And again, I can send them a push notification from here as well so they're updated as this goes. And you see that the uh, filled in squares automatically stop themselves based off of where I set them up in the schedule. Uh, another nice improvement about this job board is how easy it is to look out into later dates. So if I scroll forwards, I can also click and drag this. I can actually see what's happening in the future weeks as well. Uh, that way I can schedule from a little bit further out. And you can see that I have these magnifying glasses here. That's because you don't have to just see this uh, roughly two week view. I can zoom out as far as about two months. So although I'm not seeing the individual employees scheduled on these phases at this point in time, it gives me a similar type of view to the corporate calendar so I can see you know, what jobs are happening uh, at what point, and what, you know, when am I available to schedule in more projects. And then aside from just being able to zoom out and see this at a very high level, I can actually zoom all the way in as well and get more granular with my scheduling. So I could see that it switched from dates at the top to the time of day. So I can actually drag Paul's start time. So I can say, well, he's actually not supposed to start working on this job on Wednesday until noon, and he should be done with that by four o'clock. And this will update on his smartphone app. So when he sees the job, it's not just saying, you're working on uh, rough in for 1601 on Wednesday, it's telling him that he should be there at 12 o'clock to give him more information there. And then one thing that people have often requested from our scheduling tools is the ability to print something out that they can maybe post up in a uh, common area in the office. You'll see that we do have a printer icon here that gives you the ability to generate a document uh, that is printable of the entire job board. Uh, the next thing I'll get into is our resource board. And again, this is uh, our newest tool. And if you're interested in switching from the job board to this instead, just reach out to support at noify.com and we're happy to update you. And again, the resource board is less about when is the job happening and more about what is each of my, you know, what are each of my employees working on today and for each other day this week. So to add something to an employee's schedule, and you can see their names down the left-hand side of the screen, it's as simple as just clicking that day and their name. So in the Charles column, or Charles row, I'm gonna click the Wednesday column, and it pulls up this similar looking uh, window that we saw earlier. So all I have to do is put in what job they're working on, which phase of that job, and I can get detailed where I say, you know, they start at eight and should be done working on that job at 11 in the morning. And I can do this across multiple days. Again, it's just a, a very manual way to put in this information so this employee knows what they're supposed to be working on each day. And if I want to get a, a little bit smoother with this flow, instead of just uh, clicking, then choosing the job, you can see that I actually have a list of all of my open jobs here. Um, so I can instead just click, uh, we're actually working on the finishing work, and this should be uh, Fred starting on the 24th. And it fills that out for me to save me one of the steps. And you'll see that I actually have the option of choosing multiple employees when I schedule using this tool. So that way we can book an entire crew at a time if necessary and adds to their calendar. Uh, if we want to be able to schedule out more than one day at a, uh, more than one week at a time, this can be zoomed out into two week view instead. Uh, a lot of people like to plan ahead of time. So that's a nice way to you know, get that same type of functionality. Uh, and if you ever need to make an adjustment to something you see in the calendar, you can actually click on one of these jobs to get to that same edit screen. You can remove items from their uh, calendar. And then this notify button will send them a push notification as we mentioned earlier. So you do have a lot of that same functionality here. It's just in a, a little bit more of a uh, 
you know, per employee per day type of setup instead of a, you're scheduled on this for the length of the project. Uh, and this is very similarly related to our last scheduling tool I'll cover here, the resource day, where you can see that it's all based off of hours, but instead of me seeing you know, the employees all on the left at the same time, I can choose an employee and see their schedule based off of uh, you know, what I've added to their job. Uh, this red warning is showing me that I've double booked this employee, but this is really just a way of me seeing uh, what each employee is scheduled on each day of the week. You know, Charles is supposed to be on uh, the 1601 project from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And so it gives me that extra information. Um, and for what it's worth, since we're in the scheduling module, if you're ever interested in seeing where employees checked in, this uh, last check-in screen will show you on a map uh, where each employee checked in versus you know, where the job site is. So you have that option as well. Um, and since I didn't really get a chance to show you the push notifications that I had mentioned earlier, uh, just so you can see, uh, this is an example of what the push notifications look like. When you send, uh, when you update a schedule and uh, choose to notify employees, they get a notification from the Notify app that has whatever text that you wrote in there, or, or if you want to just send the automated text, that works as well. Uh, again, it's just a way to make sure that everyone is knowledgeable of what they're supposed to be doing as soon as possible, so none of the jobs get left behind. So again, just to recap, you know, we have our three scheduling tools, uh, the corporate calendar being the best way to schedule out you know, when the job is going to be taking place. Uh, the job board also gives you that ability, but lets you schedule who's working on the job each day. And then the resource board gives you this really detailed uh, granular hourly scheduling per each employee each day. So, you know, I always say if you're more concerned with uh, daily scheduling, you know, is the job happening today and who's working on it, job board is definitely the play. If you're more concerned with making sure that each employee has enough to do each day, that's what the resource board is all about. Um, and again, uh, the job board uh, for new accounts offered on growth uh, tiers any, uh, only, but you can actually switch to the resource board if you're interested in paying growth, uh, that's fine. Uh, and if you're on a new plus subscription, you only get the resource board, but anyone who has the job board can request resource board instead, and you do have that option. Uh, again, we can't enable them both in account simultaneously, uh, but you know, I hope this video helped you learn a little bit more about what each of them does so you can decide which one you want to use for your company. Uh, that's all I had for my presentation. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys taking the time to learn a little bit more about you know, how our scheduling tools work and more about just Noify in general. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot them uh, to support at noify.com and we are happy to answer them for you. And this recording will be on YouTube, so you can always check it out there if you ever want to refer back to it at a later date.